How's it going, viewers? Mr. Incredible is back and he's rolling with the punches, baby. Welcome to a ranking tier list. I'm going to be doing the second one today. And this is going to be Sony Pictures Animations. We did DreamWorks and that was a, such a doozy. But this is a shorter one. This only has 24 films in the library. So let's get into this. Almost as much as Pixar, which is 26, which will be 27 after Elemental comes out. So yeah, uh, let's get into the ranking. Cue the music. Okay, Sony Pictures Animation. So to those who, of course, don't know it, it's actually famous for the Open Season franchise, the, Ho the Hotel Transylvania franchise, and a very terrible film, which we will definitely talk about soon. But we know the rules. S -A, S A B C D have not seen here. There you go. You know the rules. Let's get into ranking. And this is also going to be in a random order. This isn't chronological order. It's going to be random order as well. But oh well. So yeah, 24 films. Let's go. Sony Pictures Animation. First up, we have The Pirate in an Adventurous Scientist, or Band of Misfits if you live in America. Here in the UK, it's In an Adventurous Scientist. I love this film. I, again, it has the Aardman animation style to it, and I love Aardman so much. For Wallace and Gromit, Curse the Weber, especially if you haven't seen my DreamWorks tier list, you should see it. But um, yeah, The Pirate in an Adventurous Scientist is great. The um, story is really, is really lovely, and I really like a lot of the characters. Hugh Grant as the, cap the pirate captain is really good. And um, yeah, it's just overall a really fun and really funny film, which is such great visual gags. It's just so cool. Oh, and it gets it gets an S tier. I really like it. I really do. Okay, then we have Goosebumps. Okay, Goosebumps with Jack Black specifically as um, R.L. Stein. I actually remember reading. I only have two of the uh, Goosebumps uh, books in the library. My mom actually read me one of the books to me when I was younger. It did frighten me a little bit, but I still really enjoyed it. I only have two, which is um, Night of the Living Dummy, which is her favorite, and The Blob That Ate Everyone. Those were the only two that I read, and uh, the Slappy, who is, of course, the, the the Living Dummy, of course, which you can't call him. Do not call him a dummy, viewers, okay? He is actually the, kind of the main... Uh, he is actually kind of the main antagonist and the biggest threat of the movie. However... The blob that everyone actually appears in the climax of the movie for like the last 10 minutes. And I really like that because that was my first one and my favorite one. It's, a, it's the only one I really read technically, but the fact that it had my favorite monster in it at least was really cool just for the final climax. So that makes me, my mom reading the book just even cooler really. The blob that did everyone. I really liked that. Um, yeah, Goosebumps has some great visuals to it. I love the the eerie soundtrack, and I love Jack Black's portrayal as R.L. Stein. And I also think Dylan Minnette from 13 Reasons Why it was really good as the character of Zack. I really like the characters. They were done so well. The, the, the twist of Hannah being a ghost was really scary. And that's funny, because one of the books is called The Ghost Next Door. So that was kind of foreshadowing, really. Um, but yeah, the monsters were really, really, were actually creepy at times. Really, really good. Yeah, it's a really funny film. The best line would have to be, you go home, you put on your PJs, you get your blame, you go nap nap. The morning was feel like a bad dream. It's hard to say that with a straight face, but yeah, I love this film just as much as the pirates. So yeah, this will get an S tier two. I really like it. Okay, then we have oh Goosebumps 2, the Halloween thing. Yeah. This is a bad sequel. It's so bad. It may have Jack Black in it, but the new characters were very forgettable and unlikable, and the climax wasn't as exciting as the first one. And the comedy was just, ugh. So yeah, this is, it has Jack Black, so I'm gonna put it in a C tier. Just because it had Jack Black in it, that's it. And in all honesty, <clears throat> it did not feel like a Halloween film at times. The only time it felt Halloween was whenever I saw a pumpkin, that's it. Whereas Goosebumps felt 100% Halloween. It was just such a great film. Okay, then we have Art for Christmas. Oh, this is such a cute film. Art for Christmas is really cute. I'm not going to spoil it for y'all because you need to watch it. It's uh, a solid A tier. Okay, then we have uh, Rio. Uh, Rio. Rio. Wait, what? No, I d that's not Rio. I, I made a mistake. I thought that was Rio. That looked like the Rio color. It's not. That's from Blue Sky Studios, which we'll do that later. We should do Blue Sky Studios, actually. This, I meant Cloudy with Chance of Meatballs. I don't know how I'm mistaken for that. Cloudy with Chance of Meatballs is amazing. I... Love, love, love the, uh, the the animation with all the food falling. I love the soundtrack. I loved the characters as well. I especially love Flint Lockwood because he's voiced by my favorite actor, which is Bill Hader. 
Um, his father, James, voiced by James Can, rest in peace, was also really funny too. Uh, all the characters were really great. I just love this film. It's such a beautiful masterpiece. It's visually, a it's just visually appealing, really. I just love it. It makes you hungry as well. So don't watch the film when you're hungry. Just don't. It's a solid S tier, without a doubt. I love it. Okay, then we have Claudia Returns to Meeples 2. Uh, not a bad sequel, but not as, is not, it's kind of underwhelming at times. Um, the twist of, um, Chester V being evil, I kind of saw that coming, so I wasn't very surprised by that, but yeah. I would give it a B tier. Claudia Returns to Meeples 2 is a B tier. Better than Halloween, I mean, no, better than the Goosebumps 2, but still, kind of underwhelming. Okay, then we have Hotel Transylvania with Adam Sandler as Dracula himself and his daughter Mavis voiced by No Joke. I think Miley Cyrus. <laughs> um, Hotel Transylvania is, an, is a weird franchise. I think it's a fun franchise overall, but I will say it's a bit weird. You know, the concept of having uh, monsters all live together in this um, hotel is a really nice concept, but I think... The story has to be more engaging than that, but I still really liked the characters in the first film. It was fun. It was a fun film. I would say it's a low A tier. Still, it could have been better. Okay. Hotel Transylvania 2. Honestly, it's just as good as the first one. I like the comedy in it a bit better, actually, and it actually had better songs as well. I love the um, song that goes, I'm in love, I'm in love with a monster. That's a really great song. I really like that. Um... And he introduced to um, little Dennis, the cute kid was lovely. Um, overall, the film was just really fun. Just as fun as the first one. I don't know which one I prefer, but it's still really good. I'd say the second one is better. Okay, then we have Hotel Transylvania 3, Summer Vacation. It's meh, really. I'd say it's a B tier. It's not as funny as the previous ones, but it still has some charming moments in it, really. Okay, then we have, oh my gosh, Transformania, the Hotel Transylvania final film. It's... It's, it's bad. It's really bad. Don't watch it. Just don't. It's a uh, detail without a doubt. Okay, then we have Open Season. Open Season. Open Season. Open Season. I don't know. Um, open Season is actually really good. I like Open Season. It's um, a film my sister and I used to watch a lot as kids. Martin Lawrence is funny as Boog and um, Ashton, Ashton Kutcher, I think, is pretty funny and, uh, as um, Elliot. And Gary Oldman was amazing at Shaw. He was really scary. <laughs> and um, yeah, the, the comedy in the film is really good. And um, it's a cute film overall. It has a nice adventure to it, but I will say it's not as exciting as Goosebumps, Pirates of Adventure with Scientists, or Cloudy Overtime to Meatballs. So yeah, Open Season is an A tier. I'd say it's a high A tier, definitely. Okay, then we have Open Season 2. It's uh, honestly a good sequel. It's just not, it's not that amazing, really. So I'd give it a B tier. Open Season 3, I have not actually seen Open Season 3 yet. I know it involves circus animals, kind of like Madagascar 3 a little bit, but I've heard it's pretty boring, but I have not seen it, so I'm putting it in have not seen. However, I have seen Open Season Scared Silly for some reason, about Boo trying to get over his fears of being a scaredy bear. It was a strange film. The, 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 the comedy was really forgettable in this film. It was just overall crazy. I was not a fan of this film. It's... It's just, I'll give it a C tier, really. It had some fine moments in it, but that's it. Okay, then we have <sighs> Peter Rabbit. Uh, yeah, Peter Rabbit is just, yeah, it's, I'm just gonna put it in D tier. Sorry, James Corden, here in the UK, I'm not really a fan of you. Yeah, Peter Rabbit is just, nah. Okay, then we have the sequel. Again, Peter Rabbit 2, just as, just as bad, if not worse. Definitely D tier. Okay, then we have uh, Angry Birds. Angry Birds. I actually like Angry Birds a lot. It's actually really funny. I'm going to give Angry Birds an A tier. It's actually, it actually portrays the characters of like Red, Bomb, and Chuck really well, actually. I like the pigs. Also, the main pig, um, Leonard, is voiced by Bill Hader from Cloudy with Tons of Meeples. And I love Bill Hader, so there you go. Yeah, it's, it's goofy, but it's really funny. I really like it. A tier. However, Angry Birds 2 is a lot better. It's way funnier, has a way better uh, contrast, and um, it's just funnier overall, really. It's just so funny. The best part was when um, um, Lennon had to um, suck up his butt cheeks to get across this seeming thing, and then he touched it, and then someone was like, does someone sell bacon? <laughs> that was really funny. <laughs> um, okay, then we have 
the Smurfs. Uh, yeah, I didn't, I never, I never watched the Smurfs as a kid, but I am aware of it. It is from Belgium, the same people who made the Adventures of Tintin, so you got the Unicorn. I love that book series a lot. I've, I've seen, I've read every single book, and I also have seen the movie. I love anything related to the Adventures of Tintin. The Smurfs, I think, are fine as a concept, but the live action movie with Patrick, with um, not Neil Patrick Harris, was, uh, it was, it was, uh, it was just, uh, Gargamel was playable. I like the portrayal of Gargamel, the villain, he was really good. But yeah, B tier. Smurfs is a B tier. The sequel, Smurfs 2, is just even weirder. C tier. And this, the Smurfs Lost Village. This really weirds me out. How on earth did Sony Pictures Animation create three Smurfs films? Two of them live action, one of them animated. When my friend told me this was coming out, I was like, oh wait, who's making it? They're like, Sony. And I was like, what? Didn't they make the Smurfs live action films? Yeah, it was a very weird conversation we had. The film as well was kind of underwhelming. It was better than the than Smurfs 2, but it's just as forgettable as, as the first one. So I'm putting it in the B tier, but low B tier with the Smurfs movie. Okay, then we have the movie Star. I have I have seen this one, sadly. It's terrible. It's D tier. Do, do not watch it. Okay, then we have Surf's Up, dude. Surf's Up, man. It's, a, it's actually pretty funny, but very weird. It's peculiar, but I enjoy the weirdness, so I'll, I'll give it a C tier. It's like the boss baby of Sony Pictures Animation. Okay, then we have Surf's Up 2. I have not seen the sequel, actually, but I've heard it's bad. Uh, then we have Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. It's the best Sony Pictures Animation film. I'm sorry, it, it just is. It's the best, not the best Spider-Man movie, but the best Sony Pictures film, yeah. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, solid S tier, without a doubt. And then finally we have, yep, you guessed it viewers, the Emoji Movie. The Emoji Movie is definitely D tier. It's just awful. I love using emojis. I've, I've used emojis in a lot of my own videos, as you can tell, but um, the Emoji Movie has, like the concept sounded fun at first, but then the execution was just so underwhelming at the end. It just, it's not the worst animated film I've seen, as worse I've seen, but it's still, very bizarre, really, for a concept. The Just Dance sequence was kind of entertaining, but yeah, that's, that's really it. I, there's nothing else I can say about it. It was just, meh. Meh, really. But still bad at times, so yeah. D tier, it was just such a strange film. But yeah, that's Sony Pictures Animation, all 24 films so far. There might be more at some point. But my top five is Angry Birds 2, Goosebumps, Pirates of Adventure with Scientists, Fire of Trance of Meatballs, and Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. So yeah, what is your favorite Sony Pictures animation film? And yeah, I'll see you all later for one more ranking tier list. Love you all, and if you enjoyed this particular video, leave a like on it, don't forget to subscribe. If you're interested, follow me on Instagram, link down below. And until then, stay positive, keep calm, stay safe, be incredible. As always, Brony on. Peace.